What's going on guys? Justin here and today we're getting uh, the airship for Final Fantasy 15. All you need to do is get a car part or whatever part for uh, Sydney and then she'll turn your regalia into a flying regalia. First off, the important thing is beat the game, talk to your little doggy friend and you'll end up hopefully back to this part of the map where you were at the earlier stages of the game. And what you're going to do, just to show you for reference, is go to the northeastern part of the map. And it is called the Fourmouth Garrison. And it is the Imperial base you probably maybe saw at the earlier part of the game, the very beginning, or near the beginning, uh, where you have core in your party and you're getting your first uh, family weapon in the Royal Tomb, your first Royal Tomb. And I think it's your first dungeon, but whatever, it's over here. And you should have already done the other two Imperial bases. They're actually kind of mandatory because they're blocking the way to advance the story further. So if not, uh, for whatever reason this isn't working, you don't get this side quest, you might want to go revisit those. Uh, but regardless, once you're here, uh, you'll see a spaceship or an airship fly over. That's when you know this quest will be activated. Suggestion, uh, especially if you do this right after you beat the game, be sure to stock up on potions and stuff, whatever you need. Uh, don't forget you can actually buy, there's a shop within the car menus. And then over here, luckily enough, there's actually a camp. You can go ahead and rest here and stock up on some food buffs as well. Uh, the boss for this area is no pushover and it is actually quite difficult to take down. There's actually two of them as well. You reckon Arnea has a boyfriend? She is surrounded by guys, but who knows? Why? Do you fancy her? No. <laughs> My interest is purely hypothetical. This should be fun. What's the plan? Well, suffice it to say, a frontal assault would be ill-advised. Again, stealth is our friend. We enter the base undetected and cripple it one target at a time. Are you ready? We enter under the cover of darkness and withdraw by first light. Fearsome. Let's go. So they're sleeping? Take care to avoid detection. If a trooper is alerted to our presence, it will awaken its fellows.
And there you go. So you get rid of this initial wave, but it's not going to stop from the rest of the people to come. Uh, so essentially what you want to do when sneaking around, make sure you have the notification or the message that says warp kill, not straight up go for it. Like, uh, if it doesn't say it, you might get caught for whatever reason. Didn't expect to meet again so soon, Highness. <laughs> yeah, just clear all of this out and you should be good to go. The problem is the last part of this is quite difficult depending on what your level is. And that's why I said stock up on potions and all that stuff as best as you can. Because this is pretty much a war of nutrition and yeah, a lot happened and you might waste a lot of stuff. Oh. Knocked. Our business here is concluded. Let us go. But once you coolly stare away from the fire, or look away from the fire, uh, you get a strange engine part and you get that scene saying, Hey, we got some stuff. Let's see what she can do. Go ahead and go back to her and watch the magic happen. Great range of wares here. Paradise for a technophile. Uh, so a little tip for the boss at the end there. Um, pray. No, I'm just kidding. Buy a lot of potions, a lot of elixirs, mega potions, and stuff Let's like that. Shot. Whatever to keep you up. Uh, basically, again, it's the war of nutrition because, well, for me at least, I was quite a few levels down from the actual boss, so it took a while. Um, the turrets actually helped believe it or not so get on those uh hold down the trigger for two or three seconds and then get off right away because they'll spot you pretty easily and then yeah some sizable seismic activity down it's the darn got me well ain't you a sight for sore eyes 
What's that you got there? Kind of hoping you could tell me. Bet your britches I can. Y'all must have traveled around the world and back again if you managed to get your hands on one of those. Okay, give me a little alone time with the old girl. Once I install this baby in her, y'all ain't gonna recognize her. Off you go now. I reckon you'll be seeing the world from a brand new point Ooh, of view. look at this bad boy. Right, let me save it before I crash. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. So you can still drive it like a regular car. Uh, it just needs a decent amount of room to take off. So let's see if we can do it here. go be sure to change view do whatever helps you out there you go you can now go to the areas that were once blocked off or you just never have discovered before and there's probably a few hidden stuff there as well I need to discover what those are and to land unfortunately you can't just land everywhere uh, let's see here so, Pretty much, I think you need a regular road to land. Otherwise, you'll just crash and burn and GG's. Oh, you have to be above a road and it'll somewhat automatically adjust it for you. The same way as you would be driving. And then all you have to do is kind of go down. There you go. It'll prompt you to land, which will you eventually will land. Woohoo! Check it out! Incredible! Yeah, that's pretty much it. So good luck with that. Not too much, not too difficult to achieve. Just the last boss in that area is a little tricky to deal with. Uh, again, just depends on your level and stuff. The cool thing about this, you also have unlimited fuel, so the whole fuel problem almost ceased to exist. Uh, so hopefully that helped out, and please follow support. And I'll see you guys real soon. Later.